Hello friends. Today I'll talk about process.nestic. I could have explained in a line or two, but to better understand the process.nestic and how effectively you can use in various use cases. You need to understand the difference how this JavaScript runtime treat between other components such as set timeout, promise, and other function calls. In my previous video, I have explained in detail about various other concepts, for example, call stack, message queue, job queue, event loop, etc. So you can watch to go a little bit slow pace in the previous video. But today I'll start with giving a summary about how this will work. Then I'll move to explain about process.nestic. And I'll also show some code example to show, show you the output, how it behave. So whenever this code encounter JavaScript runtime, start with this particular line for executing of greeting function. So this call stack is a LIFO based queue. LIFO stands for last in, first out. So whenever it encounter greeting, so it will try to put into this LIFO call stack. Because this is the first entry, it is not going to move away from this call stack. So it will go inside it and try to put other particular lines of execution into this call stack. Once it go inside this greeting, it encounter this console.log. So it will bring this console.log and put into this call stack. There may be internal code when we talk about console.log, but we are not going to discuss the code which is implemented by Node.js runtime. So we'll be confined our understanding about the code what we written. So this Node.js runtime or JavaScript runtime will encounter this console.log and immediately execute and print this GM, good morning, and remove this console.log from this console or this call stack. Then it will proceed to the next stage. Then it will see this set timeout. This code, whichever the code it will try, it will try to execute and do some operation on it. The execution may not be involved with running this exactly code, but it will do some process whenever it is encountering some kind of system level functionality. So in this case, it will again bring, put the set timeout. In this case, we given like zero millisecond. We wanted it to execute immediately. But is it going to do that? Unfortunately, it won't get executed immediately. Whenever it encounters set timeout, then particular JavaScript runtime will remove and put into the memory and start this timer. Even though if you give 1000 millisecond, then this timer will run for around 1000 uh, millisecond or 1 second. But in this case, this timer will start and stop immediately. Because we given zero. Then what it will do? It will then see this what are the code it want us to execute. We have a simple console.log timeout. Then it will try to move this console.log not to this particular call stack. It will put to this particular message queue. And if you see this message queue is not a LIFO base. It is a FIFO base, fast in, fast out. If you have another set timeout below, then it will be queued up in the end. And which is the fast like timeout will get the first priority and will execute when it turns come. But this call stack is last in first out approach. So based upon the timeout, this particular, so even though you given, let's say one hour timeout, so this timer will execute and this console.log timeout won't come to this message queue immediately. Otherwise there is a potential to execute it immediately. So whenever that one hour timer is finished, 
then only this timer component will put this log statement into the message queue. Now whenever we encounter this new promise, it is slightly complex. And this promise async await, async await are the functionality or syntactically sugar of promise. But under the hood that deals with promise only, it is introduced in ES6 or ICMA script 2015. For that, it, it is not going to work in a message queue. But there is another queue known as job queue. But before it goes to job queue, so this particular, you know, so it will also come to the first call stack. Everything will need to call to call to the come to the call stack. Then it will try to execute whichever the code inside this is written. This is one bit confusing part. So whenever it encounter new new promise. It will try to create an instance of it. This when I will show the code example, I will explain slight variation of it. But inside this, which of the function you have put inside this error function, which will be executed immediately as part of this call stack. So it won't go to the, you know, any queue. So if you put a console.log before this resolve, so that will be executed as part of this call stack. Then it will call to this result whenever it encounters this result promise. Result promise means it, it wants to do some non-blocking operation. This is the primitive which support non-blocking or asynchronous operation. In ideal scenario, you may be wanting to call to an external API or file operation or database operation. So that may take some time. So that particular exactly computation to deal with file or deal with the database, you're giving this control to the operating system kernel. An operating system will do the actual file operation and get the data. And whenever it written the data, at that time, that actually message will be resolved. So whenever you call this resolve, at that time, this execution won't complete. Whenever the actually operation complete, this then callback will be triggered and console method should be executed. In our case, it is instantaneous, but because the way this architecture is created, so we can't see this code immediately. So for that, so this result will be taken out from this call stack, and uh, this particular thing will be placed. This console.log promise, the log statement will be placed into this job queue and this job queue again a FIFO queue if there is another entry it will come in the back then this resolve then the resolve and promise will be taken away from this call stack their work is completed let me move this to this side so they will be removed from this call stack Now we have process nestic and interestingly this process dot nestic function I'll explain in detail about it but this process dot nestic function is not part of technically it is not part of event loop so in the browser if you are running some javascript code into a chrome browser or safari or firefox you cannot able to expose this process dot nestic so this is process is a variable global variable of node.js and this nestic is a functionality provided by Node.js runtime. And whenever it encounters this processor nestic, so whenever this processor nestic will be encountered, it is also similar with set timeout and promise. So immediately this will this code will be moved to this call stack and whenever it end, encounters this nestic whichever the callback function you provided 
it will remove it will execute execution means this will be done in separately not just process it will remove from this call struct and and whatever the call by function you are passing it it will put into another location so we can say like it is a nested queue but this name is not that important so you can call it a nested queue or some different placeholder to store this uh, console.log nested function so this would be also queue mechanism if you have multiple nested it will be stored into the queue fashion and after that this high function will be called so this high will be placed into the call stack but this any this time over promise and nasty won't get executed and once high function call then it call this console.log so if you see this inside high we are calling console.log so this high will be getting printed first because this is the last entry after that there is no other nested function call it will encounter high it will remove this high function then it will see greeting it will remove this greeting now this call stack is empty and you know this this this, this guy is our event loop so it will keep on looping through and listening to the call stack whether it is empty or not whether it is empty or not if it is empty then it is proactively go into the message queue and job queue but as i explained in the previous video this job queue will take the priority so it will go and try to put this uh, entry to this particular call stack then it, this can be executed but this process dot nested is going to interfere with this event loop whenever this event loop is starting this processing it is going to loop by loop right so whenever it is trying to see this there is empty and try to pick this promise this nested will going to intervene or interrupt think that the event loop you stop for some time and give me the control and i want to interrupt or interfere some of the critical functionality what i want to execute before you even process like job queue message or message queue message so this guy will take the priority and put this message into the call stack so this is all about and this nested will be executed so this nested will be printed and it can then once it is printed it will go out of this call stack now this nested is empty now this iteration will go to this uh, event loop then event loop will go to the job queue first the job queue the promise async await these are the concept will go into the job queue and that will be take precedence about this message queue timeout or fetch call or dom event or any kind of uh, older code base call by function now this event loop will go to this promise put into this uh, call stack and execute this code and remove from this call stack then event loop will go to this uh, timeout executed even though we given zero timeout here it may be executed after one or two hour if other codes is taking at most long duration of time then this timeout will be interfere remove so if you understand this nested also if you put it it is not going to execute immediately whenever you put the call that is one key differences it will behave same as like message queue timeout or promise call but it will be executed before anything else before the event loop do a one iteration because event loop is keep on looking this it is empty or not whenever it is empty it try to process from job queue but instead of that this nested will interrupt and it will get the priority if you have multiple nested so it will uh, first empty this all the queue what are the message it will process first then only the event loop will you know process some other message now let, let, let me run it so this will be printed first and this timeout will wait this promise will wait and this process nested also wait all three will wait then high will be called this is the main part of call stack so you should really understand the difference even though you put nested promise resolve or timeout they all wait then this console high will be printed after that out of this three this will take the first precedence 
then this promise, then this timeout. And below we are calling the greeting. The good morning, hi, Nestic, promise, timeout. And the important thing is that if you put like another uh, Nestic, So nestic nestic two. And what will happen if you put a nestic inside of one another nestic? One inside. The part will call the nestic nestic two. Then it will put into the nestic one inside that uh, it will put a after nestic two because this is first it will go to the nestic queue then this one and once it will execute this again push to the queue but it is not giving this promise and timeout so this would be you have to be extremely careful the way you are able to design this nestic if you try to put a recursion logic or infinite loop and if you try to execute a few more nestic inside a nestic and then your promise and timeout will never get an opportunity to execute so that kind of uh, it will lead to some error and some issues and one more thing about this promise is that so here i did the resolve but this would be slightly confusing to understand but whichever the code you put inside this promise right this resolve means this then callback this will go to the job queue but if you put like uh, here before resolve so when this will be executed this call log immediately after good morning or before this resolve this is a bit interesting to know See, after good morning only it got executed so this will be executed this will be put into the message queue and this particular console.log will put into the job queue but not this particular callback function so whichever the you are passing a callback function to the creating an instance of new promise will be executed as part of same call stack or same method execution after immediately after good morning even though it won't wait till high this promise resolve of uh, this will be called you can put whatever the command you uh, console level you like this will be executed but this would be going to the job queue okay hope you got a good understanding about nestic next video i'll explain about there is another set immediate and how it will differ from nestic that i'll talk about in next video Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.